Hey guys, Simon here from WinBeta and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Windows Phone Recovery Tool. Now, here's why you may need to use this tool. You may have software errors such as random reboots and your apps are crashing. You may want to update your phone and also do a fresh install to make sure you get the best performance. You may even have the lightning bolt issue where your phone is sitting there with a lightning bolt and a little cog. This will also fix that as well. Your phone may also be stuck on a splash screen such as Nokia or Microsoft. And you can also use it to downgrade from a Windows 10 Mobile Insider preview. So now we know what it can fix, we need to go ahead and download the tool. You can find the link down in the description. Once you have downloaded and installed it, you'll be presented with a screen like this. You can go straight ahead and plug the phone in if it is currently functional, either on a Windows 10 Insider Preview or it's just buggy. You can go straight ahead and just plug the phone in via a micro USB cable. If your phone is not working, i.e. it's stuck on a splash screen or it's got the lightning and the cog sitting on the screen, what you need to do here is click my phone was not detected, either choose the Lumia or the HTC, so the Lumias are the Nokias and the Microsoft phones, HTCs are obviously the HTC phones. Now as I have a Nokia Lumia 930, I'm going to go ahead and click Lumia. Your computer is now going to sit here and wait for you to plug the phone in in the correct mode. So we're going to need to hold down volume down and power and then plug in the USB. Now we'll be presented with this screen here once it's been detected. So it will say phone model device in UEFI mode, which is completely fine. Your phone should literally just be sitting on the splash screen. So again, Nokia, Microsoft or HTC. What we're going to need to do here is go ahead and click install software. Now there is a disclaimer. Obviously the device will be wiped as it is a fresh install of the operating system. So do take note of that. Once we're all good to go, just hit continue. The tool will now start to download the firmware for you. Depending on your internet connection, obviously, it may take five minutes, it may take half an hour. Now, once the firmware has finished downloading, you will be prompted with another disclaimer. Make sure that you check that your battery level is at least 25%. If your phone hasn't actually been working for very long, it might be worth leaving it on charge for an hour or two, just so we know there's enough juice in there for it to get through the firmware update process. Once that's done, just go ahead and click Next. So most of you may actually come into this problem here where it says the phone cannot be found. Odds are the phone has tried to reset itself because it's been sat idle for so long. So what you need to do is basically just repeat what we did. Hold down the volume down and the power and then just plug it back in again and then go ahead and hit try again. Now once we've plugged it back in and hit retry, the computer will now start sending the firmware to the phone and hopefully you should have something that looks a little bit like this on your phone. After about five minutes, your phone should be healthy and ready to go again. Your progress bar will get all the way to the end. It will restart and reboot back into Windows Phone 8.1. Voila, your phone is now fixed. And you should see something like this on your computer screen. Now, if your phone is working and you just fancy a clean install because you've got a few bugs, a few apps are crashing, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, or maybe you just want to downgrade from the Windows 10 Mobile Insider preview, we take a very similar process. Instead of clicking my phone was not detected, all we need to do is just plug the phone directly in via USB. Once we have plugged in our device into the computer via the USB, it will literally just show us this. It will say Lumia 930 or Lumia 830 or HTC One M8, whatever your device is, it will show it here for you. All you need to do is click it. It will read the information from the phone. So it will say again, model number, Lumia 930, firmware version. It will tell you if your phone is due for an update or not. Even if it isn't due for an update and you're still experiencing problems, literally all you need to do is click reinstall software. Again, we get the disclaimer saying that everything will be erased. Go ahead and click continue. It will download the necessary files. Now it may say check your battery, so your phone battery is running low. It's worth checking on the phone what your battery level is. If it's anything over 25%, you should be absolutely fine. If you're very careful, then by all means charge it even more. But if you've got around 25%, you should be fine. All you need to do is click next and the computer will do the rest of the work for you. It will now reset the device. Your phone will now display this image here, very similar to what we were doing earlier, just to say that everything is running fine and the firmware is being written to the device. Once that's done, again, we shall get this here, the operation successfully completed. Your phone has restarted and you are good to go again. And that is literally it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has helped you out and I shall see you all in the next one.